This week on Inside the Play, we're looking at uh, a play from the game in the third quarter, basically two minutes to go. What you'll see here is the ability of Waller to be able to reset with speed. And what that does for us is give us an option inside forward 50. If he doesn't do that, then we don't have that option. And it's a really important aspect of our forwards when they're actually getting up the ground to get back towards goal as well. Have you seen him? Oh, he took it off Stringer, did Mitch Brown. <laughs> McDonald tip and Woody's popping up in the goal square. That's where the fans wanted the footy to go. He might still get it here. What about the work rate? Oh, he dropped the mark at the end of it all. He'll get a free kick, though. Is it two of them out there? <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. So if we start and have a look at the ground set up here, we see that Brisbane have entered the ball here into the D50. So what we're hoping for now is obviously our ability to turn this ball over and then exit the ball from our D50. What you can already see is we have a couple of options here outside forward 50 if we do get that turnover to kick two straight away. So if we let it play out a bit, you can see now if we focus on Waller, so this short ball comes out to Waller. He basically gives off the hands to, to Zach Merritt. And now when you look at it, I want you to follow Waller's running pattern all the way through the middle of the ground. He's really working hard forward, so stop it there for me now. If we look at this play here, we see that we've taken a mark just outside our forward 50, but we have nothing inside our forward 50 to kick to. So what we need to do now is allow time for guys to reset inside forward 50. See Waller's transition, he's come from outside defensive 50 here all the way, and he's gone with speed, and that's the most important thing. So now Brownie takes this mark here, we'll let it uh, play out. Brownie, composed of the ball, sees McGrath wide here, so that little lateral kick. It allows Waller time to actually reset inside forward 50 and provide an option for Pidge to kick to. So if we just stop it there and take it back slightly, that little bit further, so here, yep, let it play out again. So again, we're watching Waller really go with real speed here and he attracts defenders here. If he doesn't go with that speed there, then we've got no one resetting inside forward 50. A fantastic ability to work with intent to get back inside. That little lateral kick sideways allows him to get separation on his opponent and then provide an option inside 50. In the end, he doesn't take the mark, but he gets the free kick. And it just goes to show the work ethic from back here to inside our forward 50, what the requirements are of an AFL player and a player that's playing as a forward as well. Super effort by Walla. Now the work rate, as you said, Speedy, has been phenomenal. This is just a great individual performance. The thing that I really enjoyed and liked about that particular clip was the ability of Waller and the effort required to actually work hard into our defensive half and then get back and reset hard as a forward. He does it with speed and intent and by doing that, he actually rewards himself with a shot on goal. He's coming up for possession number 17 and he's got four goals, one in the bank already. This for number five, Anthony McDonald, oh. Tip and Woody got his breath back and makes it five. Oh, hail Waller.